News for Jax has been monitoring the lead up to this nomination all week. News for Jax reporter Maggie Lorenz is joining us tonight from the newsroom. Maggie, you've been monitoring the national reaction to this so far. What has it been like? Her nomination, it's being applauded by conservatives, but Democrats are concerned about a six to three conservative majority on the court on the court, and they are squaring up for a fight. Today's ceremony celebrated Baird's personal and professional achievements. President Trump highlighted her extensive legal background, that she is a mother of seven children, and that she was there with all of her children today. But overall, it is her conservative views that are the most appealing to the president and to Republicans stand before you today to fulfill one of my highest and most important duties. President Donald Trump announcing who he hopes will be the next Supreme Court Justice. She is a woman of unparalleled achievement, towering intellect, sterling credentials, and unyielding loyalty to the Constitution. Amy Coney Barrett is a 48-year-old appellate judge and Notre Dame law professor. She's a conservative mother of seven and former law clerk to the late Justice Antonin Scalia. If confirmed, Barrett would be just the fifth woman to sit on the Supreme Court. What you can expect is she will join that wing of the court of originalism, which means it will be the text and what was intended at the time. News for Jack's political analyst Rick Mullaney watched the nomination ceremony with us in our News for Jack studios. He met Barrett when she lectured at Jacksonville University four years ago and says she explained at that time her process for decision making as a judge. And her view was, of course, that regardless of your personal preference, regardless of your convictions, regardless of your policy preferences, that was not to be a part of your judging. In in fact, it was about the rule of law. It was about loyalty to the Constitution. That is that original school of thought. That is the thinking of Judge Scalia. That's her thinking because she clerked for Judge Scalia. So if you look back four years ago at Jacksonville University, the main takeaway is that that's the way she would approach being a judge. The nomination comes amid strong backlash from Democrats who believe Republicans should wait and allow the winner of the election to fill the vacancy. Considering the fact that this Supreme Court nominee may serve on the court for 30 years, it is nothing short of outrageous that they want to approve her in fewer than 30 days. Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell is pushing forward and believes he has we enough votes an to confirm the, the nominee. There is a schedule for these confirmation hearings already circulating among senators. That schedule has hearings beginning on October 12th and then happening over four days. Coming up tonight at 11, I'm speaking with a former law student of Barrett's who has stayed in touch with her over more than 15 years and describes the direction he expects Barrett would take as a Supreme Court justice.